Hey there guys, welcome back. I hope your 2015 is going awesome still. Uh, mine is. Uh, I've lost a few resolutions, but uh, <laughs> most of them are still being kept. So uh, overall pretty good in, in my uh, estimation. But uh, anyway, today what I wanna do is actually continue a project I mentally started before Christmas. My plan was, along with my balance beam project for my nieces, uh, to make a unique piece of jewelry for my wife. Well, I ordered some stuff off the internet, little jewelry uh, connector rings, and they didn't arrive on time. So I had to push it back a little bit, and that's fine. But basically what I wanna do is take some steel that I had on hand. As you can see, I've cut off uh, pieces for other projects. Um, and this is actually the steel that I've used for my fire pit. But I wanna use it to make a bracelet for my wife in an opposing trapezoid design. I saw this design on a movie one time and I thought it was really cool. I'm not gonna do it exactly uh, like that bracelet, but uh, um, it'll be similar and then I wanna try to do a unique little uh, uh, clasp uh, of some other materials I have. So we'll see what I can get turned out, but uh, hopefully it's gonna be something my wife's gonna like. And uh, maybe if anything, it'll give you an idea of uh, something you might be able to do for your significant other. Doesn't have to be a piece of jewelry, but uh, you know, it can be shoot anything. But uh, anyway, give me a couple minutes. We'll see what we can get turned out and uh, hopefully uh, she's gonna like it. Okay, so I cut this uh, rough strip of metal, as you can see, there's still the writing on the, uh, uh, the metal there, but, uh, and if you're wondering, it's a 16 gauge, <laughs> so it's just 16 gauge standard steel. Um, after I cut that strip, I cut just a little chunk off, I kind of eyeballed it, of what I'm kind of hoping uh, these individual bracelet pieces to be. So they're gonna be kind of like this, and then there's gonna be one of the reverse side, um, and they're going to all connect uh, to where they can, you know, be a bracelet around uh, my wife's uh, wrist. So anyway, I'm going to use this template piece, just lay it on here and give myself a whole bunch of little templates. Let me cut those out and uh, then I'll sand them down and kind of see what we're working with. The uh, deburring process is done and uh, I'm just kind of laying them out just to make sure that uh, the sizes are pretty much uh, right. As I told you before, I kind of eyeballed it uh, to make my template, but uh, overall I think these are looking pretty good. I think I'm still going to sand them, but I'm still deciding whether or not to uh, kind of leave them uh, more of this uh, industrial rustic. But Anyway, uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, either sand them or not, and then I'm going to drill all the uh, corresponding holes. They're going to go here, 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 here. There's going to be four holes for each one, and then I'm going to tie them together with a little jeweler's, uh, uh, like a ring clasp. So uh, let me see what I'm going to do, and I'll show you the next piece. Okay, now for this segment, see if I can get this to focus, I made one uh, template piece. As you can see, it's just got two holes, and all I'm doing is lining it up with another piece um, and basically using that as a template so that all my holes are uh, pretty much right in line with one another. So we'll line these up and just punch them through. Okay, well, I've pretty much got the uh, bracelet assembled now. This is the main body of it. 
And all I need to do is connect these uh, two end pieces. This is going to be the female end of the clasp, and this is going to be the male end. As you can see, I've just used these uh, uh, connector rings to connect all these pieces, and then I'll use these to connect here and here. Um, and one uh, kind of cool thing I wanted to show you is, th see this black bar right here as the, the male end of the clasp? Um, that's actually a piece of a ferrocium rod. Here's the other sister piece. It was a two, uh, I think a two and a half inch uh, piece I had uh, for my survival kits, and I just cut one half off, um, sanded it, and you know, I think it has a nice look and it looks appropriate with this. Um, but if you are familiar with uh, camping or outdoor survival or anything, you'll know that a ferrocium rod, once you uh, scrape all that black stuff off, um, is a basically, it's a flint striker, so it can be used to create sparks. Um, so I'll kind of give you a little demonstration of how effective these things can be. Um, but, uh, I mean, they can really uh, <laughs> throw sparks uh, really, really well. So I don't anticipate using it. It's uh, more of a <laughs> novelty aspect. I'm sure my wife really doesn't care either way, but um, I needed something to make uh, the clasp and I figured, you know, that was a good dual purpose usage. So let me get this thing assembled and uh, then I'll kind of show you uh, maybe, you know, how it looks on her wrist and uh, the finished product. Mm -hmm.